What's up everybody? Today I'm feeling a little bit different for our content. It's not gonna be all about Rise of Kingdoms even though we're still gonna be checking in on our mobile phone to go and play Rise of Kingdoms as we are in the Heroic Anthem KVK. But, okay, as a, as a person, as a human, we still gotta eat. So today, I've got something special to you to share to you guys. I know some people have requested this before to do more food vlog. I've heard Shin, we really like some of your food vlog. We need you to do more of that. So today, we're gonna make some soup. And um, who likes mushroom? Or who doesn't like mushroom? We're gonna be making some mushroom cream soup. We've got our ingredients in here. Um, we got mushroom, all right? And we got some onions. And we will have garlic for that. And now this garlic is going to be for our, what does that say? Ribeye steak. So we're gonna be doing a ribeye steak and um, it's a little bit messy here. We've got this, thyme, um, and then if, in a few days, I think I'm gonna make some tacos. We have some tacos, taco seasoning, and um, tapatio, who likes tapatio? All right, so my pot is hot. It's kind of smoking already. I'm gonna take it off a little bit. Ooh, damn, that's not good. I left it off because I was like, I was trying to farm. <laughs> And Rise of Kingdoms. Uh, all right, I gotta remove that for a bit here. I think it went too hot, but here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be like multitasking. I'm gonna make the soup first. I'm gonna turn this on here. I think I have a light here. No, it's not working anymore. Um, it's a little bit messy, huh? All right. Ugh. All right, ta-da! There we go. There's lights. All right, so what I'm gonna do? It's gonna be challenging to do all this with one hand. I'm gonna put some oil first. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown, I'm gonna brown that mushroom first. All right, let's put it back into the heat and um, turn it on here, just about number two. All right, you guys can see that. So this is our lovely Samsung setup. My dishwasher actually broke recently, so I had to buy a new one, which is a Whirlpool. Slightly of a mess there. Oh, because I just, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna throw that. That's where the mushroom container was, and um, hopefully you guys are not gonna get confused. So this is mushroom, we're gonna dump the mushroom, we're gonna put it there for prep. We're gonna put all of that onions, that's gonna be good, and we're gonna blend that. We're gonna keep some of the, um, the uh, mushroom, so we'll have a chunk of mushrooms later. I'm gonna put some thyme, so we'll have some little herbs in it as well. Um, and then we're gonna be using some sherry cooking wine. It's good. All right, feels hot, it's smoking. That means it's it's really hot now. All right, so take a good look. Oh yeah. Oh, all right. All right, we're also going to add, ooh, slipping, about a table, about a tablespoon or two of butter. Mmm, that's delicious. So all of this is all going to be shrinking. All that mushroom is gonna shrink. So we're just gonna let it cook there and then we're gonna remove that later. We're gonna saute the garlic as well and onion. So a little fun fact about mushrooms, they hold a lot of water and they store a lot of it. So when I washed some of them earlier, actually I wiped most of them. I washed a few, I guess it stored a little bit of water in there, but naturally, see what happened. It has that oil and then that butter as well it has some some of that water so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it reduce we're gonna let the mushroom absorb the uh, butter and then we're gonna let the um, the water right the h2o to evaporate all right guys so now you guys see that the liquids are now gone it's all pretty much oil and we're now on the uh, browning process of it at this point, we're gonna add some light salt. So I use the uh, pink Himalayan. All right, I think it's safe to say that I need more mushrooms. This is not enough. But you can see that it is, uh, oh. But you guys can see that it is now in that golden brown.
Now we're gonna add the onions. All right, now add some of that sherry wine. Just a little bit. Now we're gonna let it reduce. All right, so a few things that I almost forgot to do is actually making, I think it's called a roux. So we're, we've melted some butter. We're gonna add some flour. So that's basically our thickening agent. So we have the soup here. I'm just letting it boil, letting it reduce a little bit as much as I want. This is our toppings on the top. And um, I'm gonna make this roux. So we're gonna have to like, I have to like add this flour and then continuously like mix it at the same time. So I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add like a little bit by little bit, you know, and then we're just gonna mix that up. All right, so now I'm going to add all of this into the soup. Woohoo, look at that. I've never done this before. I don't think that that looks I don't think that looks right. I'm going to scrape that all off. Put it down here so it can start thickening. So now we're going to blend it. So I don't think I did the root part correct. So it's still like very runny. That's not the consistency that I want. I should have added a lot more flour. Right now I'm trying to reduce it, hoping that, you know, it would start thickening, but I'm hungry. It's like, I don't know, it's like eight. I don't know if you can see that, eight o'clock already. So I'm starving, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my uh, heavy whipping cream, and um, if it's gonna be runny, it's gonna be runny. And if it starts thickening, then great, because the thickening is what I, what I'm looking for. So now we're gonna put some heavy whipping cream. All right. I think for the most part, is what people do is um, they do um, half and half cream. So. Um, I do, you know, I had heavy whipping cream. I might as well use that. It's just a lot more fat content. I wish I had better lighting here, guys, but yeah. So I'm still gonna stir it. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty watery, pretty soupy. I'm hoping it will thicken out. Um, it is what it is. Hey, it'll still taste good. So I've added my seasoning as well. I added some salt and pepper in there as well. I don't know how long this video is, but it's time to cook this steak. This one, I should do well. So we're gonna make this simple. We're gonna add garlic salt, we're gonna add pepper, we're gonna put it here, and we're gonna cook it. So I have to tell you something. I've added a little bit extra onto the soup. I added this, all right? This is a mushroom powder, because I didn't really have a lot of mushroom, and I think it needed a little bit of flavor, so I've added some chicken powder as well. So this is like likum ki. Um, chicken powder so I've got this heating up put oil in there the soup is a uh, I don't think it's gonna thicken out thicken in here so it's still kind of kind of watery but it actually tastes really good so let's take a quick quick sip on that one all right tasted earlier it tastes good let me see after after kind of cool down a little bit I can definitely taste the mushroom. I think when I added those powder, I could still taste the powder. So I need to properly mix it. But I think it's actually it's really mixed already. 
but I could taste the powder a little bit. Maybe I should not have added the powder, because I, but I can taste the mushroomness of the soup, which is really good. By the way, I've got a little toy here too, a little blowtorch toy, right? Oh wait, it's not. So let's see. Woo! You can blowtorch the steak. All right, we let it rest. What do you think is inside? What do you think is the cook of this? Is it going to be rare, medium rare, medium, or is it going to be well done? Leave it down in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'm going to try this one that I just sliced without the, um, without the torch. So juicy. Oh, mmm. Perfectly balanced saltiness. Wow. That's good. I like this. This is how I cook it. I like it kind of like in the medium to medium rare. I think it's more of a medium rare. So let me know what you like in your, you know, how you, the way you cook your steak. Because typically I'll have leftovers, I'll heat it up, and then I'll get cooked from there. All right, so we're gonna try this one, the one we just torched. The one side is not torched, the other side is torched. I can smell the butane with it. Hmm. Oh. You get that torch taste, it's so good. Wow. I'm so glad I made some steak today. I've been craving for some meat, and this is the meat that I like. Oh yeah, I said that.
da kulang lapot no pero it's it's pero good ayo chef pre sino nagluto ako di ba let's try it guys my mom said it's good if you understand Filipino the the soup is just a little bit runny but all I need to do is adjust my roux I think that's what it's called roux 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 with the flour and the butter mm. Oh, it pays off. And um, we're gonna try the steak. I, do you, are you gonna try the steak? Try it. I wanna let's see what what my mom thinks about my my steak. Oh wow, I cut that with a spoon and fork. So if you guys don't know Filipinos, we do spoon and fork. And um, I wish I have a tripod really, so I can show you the entire thing. How am I going to eat? All right. So we're gonna put this like this. Put rice on top of the spoon. Put it on top. I don't know, we just do it like this, honestly. And then, bon appetit. All right. Mm. Wow. That was really good. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice dinner. Mm. You're gonna try it? All right. Mm. Why do you have vegetables? That's disgusting. All that raw carrots. Oh, that's nasty. Oh. Grabby. Grabby what? Grabby sarap? Super. Wow, so delicious. Is it salty? It's yeah. okay. Everything is okay. I like. Wait, that, that sounds like you're forced. Good? Mm -hmm. Is it salty? No. It's chocolate. Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Talaga? Mm -hmm. Di ka nagsisinungaling? Di nga! Serioso. Usually you say something perfect salty. Ngayon. Perfect ngayon. Perfect ngayon? Mm. Oh wow. It's perfect. You never get perfect from an Asian mom. Oh my god. I can't believe it. My mind's blown guys. My mom said it's perfect. I've never had that in my life. Not even my brothers. Off the camera, what's up, Dalaga? Oh, oh, you can't see someone. Oh, when my lips are something, say you. And I'm not honest, no one away. You're okay. So, Dalagang getting a hot loot up. Tapto lang, though, digging again and garlic, not rubby. Taka in time, Madame. Call me sauce, I told sauce. 